안녕하세요. To another episode of my channel, and as today you can see, I am dressed up nicely. And today is another episode of Market Mukbang. Okay, so here I am at a market called Majang Chukchan Mul Sijang. It's here. Okay, so today's episode is a little special in a way that it's not your normal sijang mukbang that you have been seeing, but it's more interesting than that in the sense that um, today I will be introducing to you the real, true Korean barbecue of Korea. Okay, so why I say that? But firstly, why I'm here is because, as you guys know, if you have been following my Instagram, I am done with my master's study. <laughs> I mean, I still have my thesis left, but um, because I finished all my lessons already, I was asking Nuki, can you buy me a nice meal after I finish my work? And then he was like, what you want to eat? I was like, I want to eat meat. I don't know, is it because after I came to Korea, I really like to find meat to eat, or is it like a Korean thing? I'm not very sure, but I've learned to come to appreciate the taste, the taste of true beef or true pork and all these kind of things. So that's the reason why Mr. Naughty suggested us to come to this place. The reason why this place is so famous is because there is this beef that I really really want to introduce to you guys and the name of the beef is called Hanu. So dumb. Okay, anyways, this market um, sells in bulk and in small portions Korean beef. And why is it called Korean beef? It's because Han Wu, right? Is Han is come from Hanguk. Hanguk is Korea. And then U is your Chinese, it comes from the Chinese word Niu. Niu is cow in Korea, right? uh, in Chinese, right? So that's the reason why um, this place is very famous for it. It's because you can buy beef and then you can go up to the restaurant to eat. This is very similar to your Noryangji market, which I haven't been yet, but I will go soon, I think. Okay, to show you guys what is the best way to find the best meat. So, without further ado, I'll explain more along the way. Let's head to the market. Korean drama, you guys always know about samgyeopsal, samgyeopsal, but pig is not the only thing. Look at my big friend there. See, even the pig is bowing to the, to the beef. <laughs> Because this is the legendary chef Kiss Hanu. Okay, let's go. Wait, is pig bowing to the cow, not beef? Oh, big pig bowing to the cow. That's right. It's looking up at like help me. <laughs> Your first time here, right, Bae? We came here is because it's famous firstly in Majangdong, which is like a neighborhood in Korea. Our brother-in-law sort of introduced this place to us because he's been staying in Korea all his life, so we definitely can believe in his words. Thank you, Chagun Ajibun. Oh. I feel bad. Okay, let's go home then. No. Okay, so as you guys see when we walk along the streets, it only sells beef, so it's not like your normal market. Um, if you have tteokbokki, hot dog, all that you're looking for, we don't have. We only have beef, hanu beef. They have handon, so handon is um, Korean pork, which is also which is also very different from imported pork. So um, this place is specially all the Korean bread. Um, animals and that's why you can eat it here only so if you guys are interested to come to this place please don't hesitate if you watch this video and you are craving for good juicy beef or pork please visit Bajong Dong okay okay so now we're gonna go to the restaurant that we have selected we're gonna head there and I'm gonna explain more to you okay let's go okay so we decided to come to this shop is because it's on TV before 
and um, it just got selected. I mean, it just filmed recently, and also it's selected for long lasting small business. Always support small business. I'm small business also. <laughs> okay, anyways, so we decided to come here is because um, it looks nice, and the auntie was friendly. She was like, oh, take many photos, and that's what I need, right? I need to take photos for you guys. So there's actually a lot of places here, a lot of restaurants. You guys can decide what you really want to eat. There is um, very famous brands here, also franchise and stuff, which you can go to. But um, for me, I think all of it looks kind of same to me and um, I will go to the one that attracts me more and I'm very attracted to this kind of light. So we decided to come to this place called... Uh, wait, what's this? Hyunji yeah. Chokshan, I think. Yeah. This is the name of the restaurant. So... No, Bachuri. Uh, Bachuri. So the Bachuri is here and then you go up and eat in the restaurant. So we decided to buy this one. As you can see, 674 grams. It's $120. So, Oh, my maths is very bad, I cannot do it. But then it's cheaper, right? It's definitely cheaper than a wagyu and it gets so much heavy. But yes, we're gonna eat this, so let's buy and go up. Okay, so you really buy the beef and then you walk to the restaurant so they'll tell you where to go and it's nice here because it's a market they always give free stuff so we got free ukraine so it's like um, raw beef Where are you Ah, Right? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited! You excited? Yeah. So basically, oh, the TV! So I think there's a lot of Taiwanese and Hong Kong people that come here. Um, I didn't know how they find out this place, but as Singaporean, I'm going to introduce to you. So please don't let me down and come here so that people, when I come again, they'll be like, oh yeah, Singaporean come here too, okay? Don't just eat some girl's sad. Why are you angry? is meat but you don't get to taste the real meat of Korea. This is the cow's nationality is Korea, okay? They can't get out of Korea. We already entered the restaurant already and as you can see they set up the table for us. So basically of course when you come here they will set up the table because that's like a Korean thing. Um, but you have to pay a fee for setting up the table, it means your panchan, self-service or free flow, you have to pay for it and it differs with restaurants so it depends on where you go to then the amount you have to pay but I definitely not, I don't think it will be more than $10. So here is about 6 bucks, 6 or four, six to 7 lah, okay, you can just think of it at that, pri uh, that price. And then, um, ah, thank you. Thank you. And they gave us Okay, anyway, so um, after paying for the fee, you just come up and then you just open this meat and you can just sort of cook it yourself. There are other menus that you can try, which is like ramyeon, naengmyeon. Naengmyeon is like cold noodles and they have like stew and a lot of other things that you guys will want to try if you're here. So don't worry, it's not only meat. I know, oh no, I know Singaporeans, you must eat other things also, not just meat, right? But for Koreans, you have to eat meat first, then eat other things. So we're going to do it the Korean way. So we're going to cook the meat first and tell you how it tastes like. Mm. Wow. No smell. Okay, basically right, this right, you can think of it if you don't really know what Han Wu is. You can think of it as Korean Wagyu. Because as you can see, Wagyu is, comes from the marbling and marbling actually comes from fat. So I think they feed the the cow a lot and then it grow fat and that's the reason why it melts in your mouth. You know how you always watch TV? When they cook they have the tss, tss sound. Yeah that's the fat melting. Okay so we're gonna try it and see if that's really the sound. Mm. 
meat cannot be exported outside of Korea, so you must come here and eat only, okay? You cannot eat it anywhere else, so it's even more rare than your wagyu. I cannot tell much about, I cannot tell you much about Japanese beef because I've never eaten it before, but I would say a lot of reviews said that basically it's eating wagyu at a cheaper price. So you might want to try when you come to Korea because if not, you'll miss it altogether. So. You like it medium rare? Well, it melts in your mouth. Just nice or is it not cooked enough? Just nice. Just nice, right? I, I prefer my meat to be a bit medium rare. <gasps> wow, this is so nice here. Flip, flip, flip! Oh shit! It's okay. Dad. Okay, but you know like for Hanu, right, there's different grades. So they have one, two, three, one being the highest. And even in one, there's one plus and one plus plus. So basically, the, the lower the number and the more plus, it means it's better. So this is one plus plus, yeah? Mm. Okay. Very soft. Wow. wow. It's very juicy and the, it melts in your mouth. Just need a bit of salt. So perfect. Mm -hmm. you okay. Last time I don't really eat raw beef, but after you open your mouth and taste the world, you cannot come back. You see, I blew it. How is it different? UK and beef page. This tastes like a... Yeah. Okay, so it's chewy and it, there's sesame oil in it, so it's very fragrant and it's sweet. So I don't know what they do to the UK. It's raw, but it's chewy, and it's sweet, and it's juicy. It's a bit like a very, very, very tasty beef candy. You know what I mean? Exactly. And it's crunchy, crunchy. And people will think like, hey, that's disgusting because you visualize the beef and all that, right? That's what I thought as well, so, but... Well, if you don't eat this right in Korea, it's so wasted. Mm. Mm. Wow. 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 I know right, it, it cooks very fast, so if you overcook it, it won't taste nice. So you don't overcook it, yeah. Um, what, how I like to eat it, I always like to cut it into small pieces and then put wasabi. You might be thinking, so if you eat beef with wasabi, but beef must be with wasabi. Oh shit. So for you, you put the wasabi, right? Yeah. For me, right? Prepare the beef. Ah. Was so nice. I think it's this quality beef, right? I can eat about four pounds of this. <laughs> A bit of salt, I think, just nice. I mean, yeah, wasabi is so nice. Wasabi is so nice. So happy today, it's because it's beef. Babe, choose beef or me. Why? Bad or nice? It's so much nicer. It's a ribs, I think. Mm. Wow, it's chewier than this one. Oh, yeah. mm. I think what I really like about this kind of restaurant is because it's in the market and not many locals are here. 
Mm. If you realize it's very quiet, there is no music, no nothing, and you don't have to shout. You can really have a good time and a good chat with your friends if you come here. Traditional atmosphere while eating top great beef at the same time. A lot of the food that you guys eat is quite um, common. <laughs> like pokoki, you know, say you like, bibimbap, pakalbi. Even some people don't even know pakalbi. Pakalbi is like a pan fried chicken. But there's a lot more food to Korea. And Korea does have more variety of food than you see in the dramas. Because, of course, in drama, they cannot show all the food that you eat, that you see, right? Or that you eat, or that you like. So, this is the reason why I'm trying to make this kind of video. So, please stay tuned to more. I think it's quite also oily, yeah. very yeah. full. Yeah. I'm starting to get a bit full. Well, I'm so full, but every month I eat so nice. I think the people here are very nice. And nobody really cares about me to make myself happy. So we're just gonna eat and eat and eat. The dish is like the best part of the beef. Yeah, the softest part and it's the least part in the beef. So, as you can see, this one is a lot more expensive than just now that one. So, this one is about 190 grams or little. Just now we had 600 grams and 150. This is 190 grams, but about 50 bucks. So, I think this is a bit more expensive because it went through a process called wet aging. Um, if you see, when you walk down the street, it's basically like they sort of vacuum pack the beef and then they put it in water and then age it. I guess. I'll research more about it and I'll let you know later. But this is really expensive, but I think it comes in taste a lot softer. They have dry aging as well, and they want to keep more expensive, so um, please um, buy up to your discretion. But we're gonna try this now before we become full, and then we'll let you know is it worth to pay this amount. Try this. You never tried before, right? Wet aging. Never. Yeah. Wet aging. Wet aging. Wow. What? This is like marshmallow. Mmm. Very chewy and very chewy. It's wow. nice or bad? It's very nice. But, it's that. Out of your imagination. Oh. Just now was already very nice, and I'm thinking, how can it be even softer than just now? But wow, this is very soft. It's like marsh, marshmallow. It's even softer than marshmallow. Marshmallow is like, but this one is like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. It's so bread. Mm. It's like marshmallow, you know. Mm. <laughs> but I prefer the raw one and the, the raw one. Mm. Oh. I mean the normal one. Oh okay. Quite more flavor. Yeah, I mean so this one is a bit like a bit gone. The taste of the beef. Okay. Are you full? Like the meat is not that much, but well, it's actually quite filling. We eat about seven hundred gram of meat, right? <laughs> We're done with our meal already and I'm so so full. I wouldn't say I ate a lot but I think the amount of fat inside the meat make it very like what's the cane? Very jalak, very jalak. So if you want to eat, it's good to order other things like just now I ordered tenjang jjigae which is soybean paste too. It helps to like clear the fat taste. If not drink coke, I think yeah, it helps. Coke, 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 coke. coke is very very important. Of course if you drink beer, it's going to be full but I think coke will be very good. So if you guys are interested in coming to this place, Majang Dong Chuk Han Si I'll leave the link of this market in the description box down below. I really had a really, 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 really good and affordable Hanu meal. So I really hope that you guys will not just stick to Samgyeop Thai. I know it's a little special but I really, really feel that this is cannot be missed out, okay? So, Thank you so much for watching me in this video and 
If you like more of this content, please leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.